Insert coin. Oh, something came out. What is it? What is it? Let's see. Ribbon. Ah, oh, it's a ribbon. A ribbon? It's really cute. You don't like it? I do, but I'm a boy. I can't use my ribbon. I'm sorry, miss. It seems I can't claim my prize after all. Give it anyway. Yes, you can. Here, see? It looks pretty on you, Mr. Pupkin. It does? There are no mirrors, so I can't tell. Leave that to me. <laughs> see? You're right, miss. Thank you. You're welcome, Mr. Pumpkin. He looks really happy. Box is locked shut. And I think it's the same for everything. Great surprises await you in this room. Open. Right, hello there, miss. Would you like to play a game with us? You scared me. What kind of game is it? Right, hello there, miss. Would you like to play a game with us? Hmm. Sure. All right. Tell me the answer to this next riddle, and you'll be highly rewarded. If you come upon any trouble, don't hesitate to ask the ringmaster. Yes. Okay. At his own funeral, did Matthias see, gathered by the open grave, his family of three, father, mother, and brother, and a couple more who didn't bother. Hmm. Every box will have their own riddle to present to you. Think hard and be clever, for there is a riddle that has no answer. Get it right and you shall advance. Get it wrong three times and there won't be a fourth chance. Should any question arise, don't hesitate to ask me, the ringmaster I am, standing here to serve thee. So, how many people were there at Mat Matthias' funeral? I certainly wasn't there. Don't be lazy. Reading is good for you. A little too literal, don't you think? Hmm. Can't go back and look at what it was? Hmm. Oops, you got it wrong. A hand. Four. Oh, okay, so you just do the box in it. Okay, there we go. A family of three. Mother, mother, brother. Couple more that didn't bother. So what, three, four, six? Yes. Oh, they're smart, aren't you? Here's the next riddle. 
Three times did Mary poke my eye. Three times did she make me cry. Now tell me, little girl, how many times did I wish for her to die? Not being so conceited, it's not that complicated. Aren't you thinking a little too hard? Okay, three times, three times. Three times? Yes, correct. Here's the next riddle. It's yellow, blue, red, and green resembles a banana. I can't remember the other three colors, so maybe you should ask the queen. It's not raining right now, but be sure to check for one when it does. I've heard there are immense riches waiting for you at the end of this riddle. Okay, so it's a rainbow. Ah! One, two, three, four, five, seven. Yep. I'm impressed. Here's the next riddle. Etheria and Valentina were born on the 12th of December. One mysterious as the moon, the other cursed with short temper. On the day Valentina turned two, Katharina was half her age. Years have passed, filled with turmoil and rage. The day she turned ten, Valentina remembered her sister with sorrow. How many years would I be her eldest had she lived another tomorrow? Okay. With the September. Okay, Valentina was half of Katharina. Ten. So twenty. Ah, turn two, okay. Valentina was two, Katharina was one. Five. Careful now, little girl. No. That hurts. I didn't know humans aged at different paces. Oh wait, they don't. Such a tragic story, my favorite kind. Two. Yep. Too bad, see you in another life. Oh my. Okay, now I know what happens if you get them wrong. It's not as if you're correct or anything. Here's the next riddle. 
Having placed her five baked dishes on the window ledge to cool, Miss Elizabeth headed out to town to buy some pretty boxes and ribbons to wrap them up. Little did she know that while she was away, a robber had come and eaten two of them, followed by a stray dog who ate another one. Once Miss Elizabeth came back, she was gutted to know the disaster had occurred. How many dishes were saved on that dreadful day? Okay, so five. Three. Two. Two. No. My hand. Five. Four, three, two, it's not asking. It's not asking about the baked dishes, it's asking about the dishes. Yep. Bingo! Here's the next riddle. Two books rest on the shelf. One is upside down, the other is backwards. You tell me, little girl, what is the sum of the first page in each book? Every box will have their own riddle to represent to you, yada yada yada. Got. 146. They get it right? I'm guessing since it's the last box, too? Yep. Oh, girl, big brains. Here's the next riddle. Queen Egliette ate a dozen candies of five different flavors. A bunch of them were pumpkin-flavored. One was a green apple, two were blueberry, two were grape, and three were cherry. So tell me, miss, how many pumpkin candies did Queen Egliette eat? Uh, a dozen candies. What, twelve? Bunch, not really a number. So one was grape, two blueberry, three, two were grape, four, five, three were cherry, eight. Such a yummy riddle. I hope you paid attention to math class. Pumpkin candies, okay. Ah, so twelve. You subtract three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, four. Yep, correct. Here's the final riddle. I am all powerful and almighty. Going through doors is my specialty. Many in these twisted holes will stand. But fear not, my girl, have me in hand, for with a gentle touch can I undo the restraints casted upon you. Lucky. Good job, miss. You are a one truly smart girl. As I promised, here's your reward. Aslin key. Thank you, mister, but where am I supposed to use this key? Oh, I wouldn't know. I found it on the floor the other day. Good job, miss. That was quite a show. Here's a little hint for the future. Be kind and caring for your opponents will tend to be rather daring. Hmm. 
Mm. Miss? Yes? I have one more riddle for you. Would you care to listen? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. What gets broken without being held? I'm sorry, but I'll need time to think of on that one. Worry not, little girl, for that riddle's answer does not belong to me. It belongs to you. What do you mean, Esther? Hmm. Okay, where does the key go? heard the rumors? They say Miss Fox has slipped into an eternal slumber due to what happened. I love stories with unhappy endings. A horrible thing to say. They always tell me to turn around when they're changing clothes. It's so unfair. Such a frilly dress. It's so elegant. I don't especially like black dresses. Oh, this maid uniform looks a lot like the ones at home. This mirror is strange. Better not. Hmm. Yeah, I will now, though. Oh. The same room. Pumpkin? The queen's here. Too bad I'm stuck facing the wall. This is a very special day. The Queen has just arrived, I think. This dress feels somewhat nostalgic. Yeah, that's like the other room. a solid mirror. I can't go back. Hmm. What's going on here? I'm just here to watch them all be executed. That's an awful thing to say. Exciting, aren't you excited? I sure am excited. I've never been this excited in my entire life. I've waited half of my whole life for this moment. I wonder who will win. This is so thrilling. Having a weird deja vu. It's a deja vu. It's when stupid people ask ignorant questions. I still can't see my own reflection. 
It won't open. I need to find another way. Thank you all for attending this very special ceremony. You have all given me your best, but as you know, only one of you can become my favorite couple. All the others who don't make it will be executed. Executed? Who dares interrupt my ceremony? I... I'm just... Silence! How are you? Where did you come from? What are you doing at my ceremony? I, I'm just looking for something. Oh, and what might that thing be? Um, I'm looking for... Oh... Limbs. Such a gruesome quest for such a fragile looking girl. Come closer, my girl. I shall aid you in your request. Uh-oh. Thank you. You're more than welcome, miss. Even if we don't win, we shall perish together as lovers. Our love is eternal, both in life and death. This is way too cruel. We've given it our all, and yet we don't stand a chance against them. You two are... It's no use living if we don't win. We're grateful for this execution. We're feeling really nervous, miss. Please root for us. I will. We won't ever forgive them if we lose. Our grudge will haunt them forever. Wish I could dance with them, but unfortunately, I'm just a pumpkin. Oh wow. Can't even go over there. your hand for me. All right. Oh. Here, you can have this one, miss. It was rather easy to obtain. Okay, then. Uh, I got a load all the way back here. Then, back through the mirror. And this time, something I lost. I see, that's unfortunate. Take a seat, my girl. I will let you look for whatever it is that you've lost after the ceremony. Thank you. Probably here. Here. Now, I shall announce the winning couple. Which is... Mr. Rabbit and Miss Fox. Congratulations to the winners. You may step aside.
As for all of you failures, you shall be executed. You can't just murder everyone. Soldiers, march! Wait! Farewell, my servants. You have served me well. Now that that's taken care of, it is time for tea. As for you, clean up this mess before leaving, will you? Or else. You may have this. Ooh. I'm expecting my ballroom to be squeaky clean by the time I'm back. I will not tolerate any mistakes. Or else. I have to help Mr. Rabbit and Miss Fox. Okay, no new dialogue with the pumpkins. The only way... Pitch black stuffing slowly oozes from the dancer's wounds, staining their once shiny fur. The couple's bodies lie torn apart, their expressions forever frozen in the moments of terror felt before the executions. This is horrible. Much black stuffing solo oozes from the dancer's wounds, staining their one shiny fur. Dang. This is horrible. Okay then. So it's all cleaned up. I'm guessing... Just go right back through the mirror now. Ah, yep. Go back. Take a journey through time. I have to help them. Okay, pumpkins didn't change. Re-enter this room. leg of one of the fox dancer. So basically pieces stained in blood. Hmm. Oh, maybe I'll leave these here for a bit. Leave. 
better fix Mr. Rabbit first. Going through a lot of trouble for us, Miss. I can't thank you enough. Don't worry, Mr. Rabbit. I will definitely save you both. Thank you, Miss. I've gathered enough parts to fix you and Miss Fox. Hopefully we can fix you with these. You've gone through so much trouble for the both of us. I can't thank you enough. I'm just glad I could help you. Tell me, do you know how to sew? Yes, I do. Please sew us back together. I wish to be reunited with Miss Fox. Of course, let me just find something to sew you with. Oh. Well, best I got's this. And I ain't gonna do it. Okay, so it's not that door. Gotta be this door. Yep. Ah. Oh, Rabbit, you're so funny. Let's be together forever and ever. Good evening, miss. Have we possibly met before? No, I don't think so. I'm sorry. I see. That's a shame. I would totally carve your pumpkin. Sorry, Metro, but I don't have any pumpkins with me right now. That's right, miss. I'm sorry to have bothered you. Have a nice evening. Thank you, mister. You too. I'll bring you a pumpkin if I find an uncarved one. A fancy cabinet made entirely of walnut wood. Fragile-looking tea sets rest inside, carefully arranged on the shelves. This tea is quite delicious. Speaking of which, I wonder who Queen Egliette will choose. Aren't you excited? Yes, I am. The nice dance party is going to be fabulous. I can't wait. I personally hate pumpkins. That's why I put up that sign by the door. Why don't you like them? They're hideous. I absolutely cannot stand them. I see. Only I could dance, I'm sure I'm pretty good at it. All of these people are completely uneducated. Can you believe most of them don't know how to read? Pathetic. I feel so misunderstood. I'm sure I was born in the wrong century. What a pretty little girl you are. Listen, do you happen to know how to sew? Yes, I do. How do you know? Don't be silly. Of course I didn't. Either way, you can have this. Oh. Thank you, miss. I hope you'll enjoy it. Everyone likes to party here, isn't that nice? Can I tell you a secret, miss? Oh, yes, of course. You promise you won't tell anyone? I promise I won't tell a soul. I actually have a big, big crush on Miss Fox. She's such a great dancer. I wish she would notice me already. Why don't you tell her, then? She won't know unless you talk to her. What are you, crazy? I'm sorry, I was just trying to help. Where you are, now go away. Girls like you will end up all alone. I don't even know how to play chess, just don't tell anyone. I'm getting... Shh, I'm hiding. Tall clock stands in a corner, its hands running across its face as if in a hurry. I guess I'm just not good enough. What's wrong, miss? Oh, it's nothing. You're too young for this kind of thing. No pumpkins allowed. Okay then. I'll get the sewing needle. Let's do this just in case there's a branching path. Why 
find something? I have something now. I'll sell you first, Mr. Rabbit. Please do, miss. They're all done. Can you move? Ah. Well, yes, indeed I can. That's a relief. I'm so glad. Let's sell Miss Fox next. Yes. Wanted to inspect. Golden needle carrying crimson thread. Let's on this fox. I wonder if she'll wake up now. Mr. Rabbit? Miss Fox, I'm so happy you're alright. I'm so glad. Thank you, miss. We owe you everything. You're welcome. I'm glad that you can dance again. Here, you can have this. I've kept it since the day the others ripped our bodies apart. Special key. This is a key to the theater. I'm sure it'll come in handy. Thank you so much, Mr. Rabbit. Now, Miss Fox, are you giving me this dance? Yes. So happy I was able to help them. Alright, pumpkins are the same. Thank you for helping us, miss. We owe you our happiness. Okay, to the theater. Wherever it may be. Not that one. Only door left is up top. Shut. Use the special key. Uh-huh. 